I've got a Nintendo Switch Lite here that will not charge. Actually came in from another shop and they had replaced the charge port. They also replaced this IC right here, this M92 T36. And um, what happened though is it still had a short on the coil. And the one thing that, that they missed is there's a diode that generally sits right here and that was bad. So this whole thing was just shorting straight to ground. So took that off and the short has been relieved but it's still not charging for some reason. I did go ahead and replace the uh, BQ24193 just because it's in the area where the short took place and that is associated with charging as well and that did not help. Um, so I went back to the front and I probed the battery connector <laughs> and the first thing I found is that uh, well they got a little little extra heat here so it's a little crispy but not too bad. Uh, but this thing right here should have a diode reading and it does not. This is showing OL and that prompted me to flip it over because generally if we have a connection here as you can see the traces on the motherboard that one in the center it doesn't lead to anything on this side so quite often they will actually put the um, other components that are on the line directly behind it. Went ahead and flipped this over here and to my surprise we are completely missing a chip right over here so there's a max IC that goes there and it is just gone and not only will the device not charge uh, it will pull the 0.43 milliamps but it will not charge there is 4.1 volts at the battery terminal which kind of threw me off because I thought we had it fixed uh, but when I look back here it's pretty obvious that most likely what happened is this got scraped maybe when the board was being removed or something I don't know uh, but that is long gone however I was able to contact someone on one of the repair forums and they did confirm that the chip used on the Switch Lite is the same as the one on the uh, Nintendo Switch original. So I thought I'd share this with you guys. I'll go ahead and get this thing focused. This dude right here, which is in roughly the same location by the way, it's right on the back side uh, of where the battery terminal is. This Max IC, it's going to be, let's see if we can get focused here. Yeah, this has had a little wear and tear on it, but hopefully it'll be okay. This is going to be the MAX17050. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pull this off our donor. Again, this is a Nintendo Switch, and we're going to put this onto a Nintendo Switch Lite.
right, if we get lucky, uh, that'll work. I'm actually using an iPhone 7 Plus Reball stencil. I thought we'd have the right size for this. This is a pretty common uh, configuration. But I don't think it's on this particular one, but that's okay. We can make this work. As long as the holes match up, we just need six new balls right here. So that mess is what happens when you use a stencil with too many holes, but it should still do the trick. pretty close to where I wanted it. All right, some hairs. This flux should be fine. There's plenty of it. I've got something stuck in my tweezers. Nope, that's just a reflection. All right, so hopefully this is all we need. You know what? I'm going to clean that. It's already getting gooey.
All right, I've got the board back inside the device here, hooked up the amp meter so you can kind of see what's going on. And hopefully that did the trick. So I'll go ahead and plug it in All right here. And let's go that way. All right, we got 0.46, which is where we were stuck before. And you can see now it's going through the boot up process. It'll typically drop down to zero and then should jump up to about one to one and a half amps, depending on your power supply once this thing starts charging. And I think we are back to working and charging again.